Hey guys, Max Lee here, and I wish you guys have a late Merry Christmas and an early Happy New Year because this is an awkward timing that I post this video. I was trying to post this video before Christmas, but uh, I just cannot catch the schedule. So yeah, it's awkward time. So sorry guys but today i will bring you guys a very interesting mechanical keyboard that is uh this little stuff so yeah max this is interesting why check this out so you might say yeah you can change the switch so what this is a really interesting part for me because i know there are a lot of keyboard or mechanical keyboard can change switches well this is an interesting mechanical keyboard not because it can swap switches but it only cost me 20 dollars let's take a look yuso z11 yuso you never heard about that brand right me neither. I never heard about them too. And this is my first time getting my hands on a Yuso, e Yuso keyboard from Yuso. But also, this is my first time to review a 61 keys keyboard. So small and compact. I did some research. This is actually the Chinese local brand. And this is actually a second tier Chinese brand in China. What I mean is a second tier keyboard brand in china not uh overall second tier brand okay the reason i'm doing this review is simple it is a mechanical keyboard it has hot swappable switches and it is super cheap good or bad let's dive in the design the design is super simple and solid but combined with this super small size it actually feels a little bit cute i don't know i i feel this is cute this is way smaller than my 86 keys and the full size key keyboard if you want to compare them look you can handle this one hand just like a longer smartphone um a much longer smartphone okay the key camp colors are gray and black but it comes with two orange color keys one is space key another is escape key this is my first time using a 61 key keyboard and for my first time impression that is this keyboard is clean by clean i mean the design it because it's so compact this is no extra keys okay and another one is super space efficiency by space efficiency i mean it won't take that much desktop space i mean if you have a super huge monitor or you have a super small table 61 key is the one to choose so overall the appearance feels really good looking and it doesn't feel cheap at all really solid for the keyboard this small the weight is super light as well it is around 560 gram for the keyboard only if you combine it with a cable the weight is around 700 gram so inside the package the keycam puller and the switch puller or the switch remove tool is included also five additional switches so you don't need to buy another tools to change the key camps and the switches it doesn't look gamery at all maybe because there's no light strips around the keyboard or maybe the logo is on the back side so you cannot tell what is this mechanical keyboard is used for is for gaming or for office work every corner has this non-slip pad to prevent slippery on some typical surfaces and around two button pads there are two drainage holes along the edges on each side just like the msi gk50z it is cheap but focus on details the keyboard offers the food stand on both top corners which also has a rubber pad for better stable typing experience the cable is separate from the keyboard which is super nice to keep the cable separately so if you want to carry the keyboard with you the overall space will be smaller because the keyboard and the cable 
are separated. So, so there's just less mass when you try to carry this, okay? Also, the USB-C port is L-shaped, so both the connection and the cable management will be much easier. The keycaps are made from PBT and the keyboard panel is made from ABS. The keycaps are using double color injection modeling technique. The latter is transparent in order to let the RGB light come through. This mechanical keyboard has three different versions. The cheaper one only has the yellow backlight. This is the middle price one and it has all colors. It has all color RGB lights. And there's even more expensive one. By expensive, I mean $30. It has the wireless and Bluetooth connection, which is uh, better than this cable owning connection. That's why it is cheaper, but it has the same RGB light and this one. So you better choose this one just in the middle of the price range and uh, you, you get a decent connection with the cable as well. I bought the blue switch version, which is a more popular switch among others. But the brand of this switch is unheard. I only find out the foundry of this switch is called Huanuo, which is a Chinese brand. But it has a similar quality as the Ultium switch, which is another Chinese brand uh, that I mentioned during my MSI keyboard review. They are both very good and cheap cherry switch alternatives. Okay, and for the keyboard this cheap, you get the idea. So when playing games, this blue switch is very good. Super responsive and easy to press. The press is a little bit tactile. Some people like it, some may not. When pure typing, the sound is crisp and not as loud as I think. Compared to other blue switch, this one is a little bit quieter. By the way, the keyboard sounds like this. as a tactile switch. The feeling of typing the blue switch is super satisfying. So compared with the more linear style switch like the black switch, the blue switch is not good for a quiet typing environment like office or library because it is loud. But the switch is a little bit slow compared to another blue switches. By slow, I mean just milliseconds slow, barely noticeable. It is when the key is pressed, the registration of the key press is a little bit slow, a little, little, little bit. Of course, you cannot compare it with cherry switches. They are not even in the same price. If you want to play games like Dota 2, this keyboard may be, maybe not ideal, just maybe, because I am not a Dota player. If you only want some casual gaming like me playing the Risk of Rain 2 or other casual games, this is a really good one to choose. You won't feel any delay when playing these casual games. Overall, the typing is really good in its price range. About the RGB, oh man, I just stopped talking and you can watch the light show. Check this out. Let's talk about the 61 keyboard and should you get it or not. If you are a hardcore PC gamer and you need number pad, arrow keys, and even the F1 to F12 keys to play the game, then you just forget about the 61 keyboards. You can achieve the same function like F1 to F12 by pressing the Fn plus 1 to 12. But the process just a little bit tedious and annoying and slow. So if your demand is pure typing or just some light gaming, you know, sometimes you are playing games and not that professional, not that hardcore, 
I recommend it won't take any space. It is small and 61 keyboard. I want to switch to a smaller keyboard like this, but, but sometimes I'm a little bit hardcore gamer and for my work, for my daily work, and I better have a number pad, better. Can I live with this smaller and more compact 61 keys keyboard? Yes, but just a little bit, little bit, uh, maybe annoying. I cannot say annoying, just inconvenient. A little bit. If there's no keyboard in the world, I can use this one, of course. But if I have the more keys to choose, I will definitely choose at least a 86 keys. But if you don't mind, you don't play that many games, you don't do uh, 3D modeling, or you don't do Photoshop, you don't do anything, you don't really need some uh, F1 to F12 keys, choose this keyboard. Choose this size, I mean. Maybe not this brand, but this size, you can do it. Lastly, the hot swappable switch. You can basically change the current switch to adding three pin switches. Adding three pin switches you want. It is easy to do and you can try a lot of combinations like half red, half blue or something like that. Just pull the switch out and get a new three pin switch. Push the pin into the hole and there you go. Done. This is probably the most exciting feature for this keyboard. Because generally speaking, the mechanical keyboard that can swap switches are really expensive. But for $20, you can change the switch into whatever switch you want. I will recommend this mechanical keyboard with this function alone. You can change the switches. That is a really, really, really handy function for a mechanical keyboard in this price range. I don't know if you can find any cheaper mechanical keyboard that can change the switches, but man, this is really cheap. I don't know, maybe in the future I will find an even cheaper one. But for now, I can say this is the cheapest mechanical keyboard with the hot swappable switches. So overall, I will give this keyboard a 8 out of 10 for the typing experience for the size for the cable connection and last but not least the price and the hot swappable switches the hot swappable this this word is hard to pronounce hot swappable the hot swappable switches yes so what do you think of this keyboard uh i read some comment about they want to buy the keyboard like from the place i bought it i'm in china so even the online shop has their uh, internet shipping policy when it is travel from china to your country the price might be much higher uh, my advice is trying to find something uh in your country the same brand same price or even just a little bit expensive even it is a little bit expensive but it will still be cheaper compared you bought it from china and shipping all the way from china to your country that will be man the shipping fee will uh be sky high so think twice um Maybe on Amazon, in your country's Amazon, you can find the same price or you can on some other online platforms, you can find the same price, same brand, even with free shipping or something like that. That will be really good for you and for, for all my viewers, my subscribers. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell anyone anything. I'm not here to sell you stuff, okay? If I'm trying to sell you something, the price will be higher because of the shipping. So I'm not going to post any links. If you want the links, if you really want the link uh, of this product, uh, you can just uh, leave the comment in the comment section and I will post the link just to you. So uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys can enjoy today's video. This is another interesting keyboard for you guys. Maybe in the new year, you, can, you have something to buy. You, you, you have something to look forward to. But anyway, hope you guys can enjoy today's video. And my name is Max Lee. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.